Good morning, fellow peeps and folks. I'm Ellie, and today we are watching The Owl House, episode 16 of season 2, and it is called Hollow Mind. Um, yeah. I am hoping for something that is a bit lighthearted, maybe, right now, because honestly, I don't even know how much time I have. I wanted to finish the season today. But I don't know if I can because people are gonna arrive and you know how it is. Um, otherwise, like, my computer and the programs just wanted to bully me today, basically. Um, but I'm not gonna go into that. It took way too long for me to get ready to record. But we're here now, and I'm hoping that everything works now, because if not, I'm gonna flip a table. <laughs> but yeah, we're at episode 16 of season 2. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. It's only six episodes left of this season. And, you know, who knows when and in what form the rest of the series will arrive. But yeah, I guess we will just jump right in. Last time we had a nice flashback of Ida and of Rain. Basically telling us how they met first and how damn powerful of a witch Rain is. And finding out that uh, they're definitely not brainwashed right now. Just, you know, for everyone who wondered, right? So, Hollow Mind. I don't know. We're going fast onto the season finale, so I don't know what to expect. It could be more like slightly filler stuff, or it could really pick up the main story with those kinds of shows that are like half episodic and half like with a complete story you never really know so let's go in three two one and go all right lose that is an interesting hallway um a terrifying hallway at that Okay. You got us trapped in the Emperor's mind. What? Okay. That is an interesting start to an episode. We're in the Emperor's mind. That's bananas. I don't know what those are, and I don't care to. <laughs> Remember what happened at the night market? But I'm happy that Hunter is there. And it's a very interesting start to an episode. Not even an intro that much. All right. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> they are in a mind and they have to remember. Yeah, no. Ah, king. Wow. That is so cute. That he actually learns a bit of Spanish. Okay. I'm 
Yep. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, that is... Wow. Mm, it's not that easy. That's how societies work usually. If someone is in power and can control the flow of information, it's bad. Hmm. <laughs> Respectable criminals. I just <laughs> eat a well. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Wow, so that is when she followed, and we're back at that point. Wow. <laughs> you just basically ruined his mission, but fine. Well, what have you just done? So they wanted to invade the Emperor's mind. So they basically, that way they got into the mind. I mean, true. He seems to be delusional though. <laughs> no, it's... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably not that good. I mean, makes sense. Ooh, maybe you should find out. Yeah, and that cannot, you know, be good. <laughs> oh, it's a little one. Are we really gonna find out the past of Emperor Bellus? Because that would be interesting. Uh, maybe those are like what makes him delusional and stuff. I don't know. Just trying to make sense of a mind. Which isn't easy in the first place. Ooh. Ooh. We're getting to the good stuff. I, I saw a few. No. Not really faces, but you know. Yep. Yeah, no. That person looks a bit like you, Hunter. You know that? <laughs> so, I mean, if he's your uncle, it would make sense, but still, um... He's playing with a human.
Mm, not usually. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least it works. Oh, <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> I love how he's really just loving that. Oh. Well, that's where you're wrong. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you have to. <laughs> Well, okay, the owl house is on total lockdown. Didn't know Hootie could do it that well. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, what are you gonna do about that? Hunter's Trap 2. <sighs> Owl tube him <laughs> Okay that that's What what is Hootie exactly, you know? Mm-hmm. It's totally staged, is it? Wow. Uh-huh. Yep, it was all to make to make the citizens believe that Wild Witches did it, even though he did it. I mean, yes, it was a special technique, but to the greater good is probably not the right description. Yeah, why are you stealing stuff? <laughs> Welp. Of course. Well, that probably doesn't work as well as it should. 
or it works too well. Hmm. Of course. Wow. Wow. That is gruesome. Those poor people. I mean, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, something is very wrong if you choose to believe that it's more possible for you to be the idiot than for all of you, be you, you know, that belief be to be wrong. Oops. Yeah, that's the door. Okay. Whoever you are, you are a bit creepy. Yet. Yes, it is. Okay. Well. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And your whole world is just toppling. Well, it's it's not that easy. <laughs> oh gosh, all oh, those masks. <clears throat> what kind of a ritual? Hmm. Oh gosh, it's a laugh. Um, well that is not great, I guess. Um, Wow. Well done. Oh, damn. No, don't destroy them. Nope. 
You look the most like him, yeah. I mean, we saw the pictures. Wow. Apparently. Oh, and we've had that face. Of course. Mm hmm. Well done. Okay. I mean. Okay, Hootie. Okay. I'm just still processing everything that happened, so... Wow. Well, who would help you? What do you think? They still have Titan's blood. I mean, fair point. Mm-hmm, of course. Mm-hmm. Mm what the... Okay. Hunter helping. Good. How did you get here again? Yep. That's gonna work. But damn. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think Hunter doesn't want to be the Golden Guard anymore. He's panicking. I mean, you know, his whole world has been turned upside down. Grim Walker, interesting. Yeah, she she saw a lot. Just just Yeah, th this is a lot to mm. You know, to, to, to process and stuff. Well, how, how did he describe the, them? A better version of an old friend. It's like, so is he creating them? I mean, or is it just, you know? Well, there is a few questions. <laughs> All right, so 
This episode was really interesting. Not the lightheartedness that I expected. Well, not expected, but wanted after all that stressing. But damn, we're getting some information. Okay, you know, um, Bellows is Philip, Philip is Bellows, whatever. I mean, he was an ass when we met him. <laughs> so, does it really surprise anyone? We've had like the pictures when they first started to get into the real memories um, where one person was always slashed and that was the person that looked a lot like Hunter. So that is the old friend he's talking about. And he's making like replicas of him to serve him as his golden guard. I think are they like glorified clones <laughs> I don't know um, I don't know if we'll ever you know get to know how exactly he makes it but I think the most interesting is that weird shadow creature which might just be that friend maybe i don't know or something else something that corrupted him maybe it it just gives me the feeling if you would have like a i don't know as if bellos was like a warlock and that would be his patron or something whispering to him all the time and but nobody else really has contact to it. Huh. I want to know what that thing is. Of course, though, the plan of invading his mind and stuff was made by Rain and D Darius was his name, right? And stuff. So um, it, it was pretty clear from like the few things that we could see. I mean, Rain's glasses, of course. Um, and, you know, Darius was the taller one who used abominations. And that last one, I don't know the name of. I'm sorry. But, you know, it was pretty clear that they wanted to do it. And then instead, Hunter and Luz got in. Hey, but at least, at least Ida got a bit of help. They used up the last of the Titan's blood, which might be an important thing. And yeah, but, but the most important stuff is just what they found out. I mean, Luz did have like this world shattering experience when she found out that Philip was an ass. <laughs> and now, well, she can connect two dots. The Philip was an ass to me, and Probellus was an ass to me. They're the same person. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am really curious about more information to that old friend of his. And, wow. I mean, poor Hunter. He started out this episode as someone who completely believes in the propaganda. I mean, yes, he did have, you know, a few things that connected him to the others. Like, the, the, you know, he made friends, actually, and all that stuff. So, so he got closer to other, like, witches and stuff. But he was still believing in the Emperor and in, you know, his plans. And he went from that to complete and utter destruction of his worldview. Poor boy. No wonder he's panicking. Like, you ju he just found out that his whole existence is not what he thinks it is. His whole existence. That can't be easy. I mean, it's not. That's why he's panicking. 
uh, someone give him a hug. <laughs> so yeah, um, a very interesting information in this episode. Really nice stuff. Um, bringing the like motivation of the evil person of the villain, you know, a bit closer, all that stuff. Um, and having a few revelations in there. Yeah, I liked it. Uh, so I guess we'll see what next time we'll bring. But this time was definitely a very interesting episode. So on this note, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.